first thing we have to do is obtain the bone marrow uh, from the horse from which we can recover the stem cells. And we do that from the sternum, which is probably the easiest site to obtain uh, the bone marrow, although it can be done from other sites, including the tubercoxy. The stages of the process uh, involve first sedation of the animal with an alpha-2 agonist and uh, butorphanol uh, to, so that there's, so the procedure is pain-free. Uh, we then locate the uh, position of the individual sternebrae using ultrasound. This allows us to place the needle very accurately into each sternebrae rather than uh, into the intrasternal spaces where there would be no bone marrow. Most important thing is we identify the very back of the caudal end of the sternum because it's very important that the needle is not introduced uh, behind or caudal to the sternum. So having identified the location of uh, the sternum bray, we then scrub the area and we'll introduce some local anesthetic under the skin in the exact sites uh, where we're going to uh, introduce the Jamshidi needle. Now, in order to ease passage of the needle through the skin, we make a small stab incision through that local anesthetic bleb using a number 11 scalpel blade. We then introduce the Jamshini needle in the midline, and that's very important so that it's uh, right in the midline. It hits the sternum uh, perpendicular to where it was introduced. Um, and then I position my index finger about two centimeters away from the skin surface. This is to use as a marker to ensure that the Jamashidi needle is not pushed too far in and therefore uh, have a risk of going right way through the sternum. So two centimeters is all that's required for the Jamashidi needle to be introduced into the sternum using rotating, a rotating movement. Having introduced it uh, into the sternum, then the central uh, trocar is removed and the syringe is attached, which has been preloaded with uh, heparin and the bone marrow is aspirated. There is always a short delay before the bone marrow flows into the syringe. After that, there is another sample taken using a 5 mil syringe uh, so that we can uh, put that bone marrow into the citrate anticoagulant, which is used for, to derive the supernatant in which the cells are suspended for implantation. Having aspirated bone marrow from one sternum, the then the needle is introduced into the next, the more cranial uh, uh, sternum in order to obtain bone marrow from that uh, site also. This ensures that we have ample bone marrow with which to uh, culture the cells from.